Okay, let's continue stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna call everything stuff for the rest of this board. To my surprise, we only had one game crash. Maybe the counter is only going to be one count long. Wouldn't that be miraculous? The chest is up to 35. I feel like the AI will actually win this every time they play it. So that's kind of meh. 15 coins, they're tied for third, but Kubike got red, so they're not tied for third anymore. I'm gonna I love taunting people as soon as it's their turn to roll. Like Royal just like like I hit taunt as soon as he rolled, I'm like again. Yes. Mushroom. Mushroom Oh no. This was the thing I was talking about in the last part that made it so annoying. This is basically the swap fest. The AI will always say yes to this. In daytime, you have to pay 10 coins, everyone pays 10 coins, and it's basically 1 in 4 chance of winning. It's chosen first who lands on it, and then place from last to first. So you generally have no say in this. I saw this way too many times last time I played this, and it's not pretty. It's me or Luigi winning. And it's Luigi, because of course I can't win a coin flip. So yeah, Luigi just takes 10 coins from everybody. That's essentially what happens. And the reason why it's annoying is because of what can happen at night. Bad things. We have a Thwomp Orb. And, ooh! DK are happening. I'll take the DK space. Why not? The crazy ape is gonna give me a bonus. Whatever prize we get on the barrel is what we get, and we can't get a star from this. We only got oh, we got the worst prize, which is five coins. So I think it was actually better for me to have the happening space, but it's fine. Whatever game. It just could have been a star. SMH. So we have played all these mini games. We're gonna be playing Mullet. Now that I think about it, we might have played this one at night. I don't remember, but we have to jump and smack Monty Moles. Whereas at night, you have to ground pound on them, and it's much harder. Okay. Wario. I was trying to jump over Wario. I didn't even see that that spawned on me. You can't get a gold one, which will give you three points. Wario, you're not doing very good. I love the noises the Piranha Plant makes when they come in, it's like, uh? Okay, thank you, boy, for being smart enough to hit that. Oh my god, what are you- Wario! God dang, we almost lost that, because you were just jumping into everything you could. Now jump into the Piranha Plant to get eaten by Plant Gang! Yes, I just called it Plant Gang. Why? Because it's a gang of plants. It's nighttime. So let's see what the new cost. The new cost will be 10! I'm gonna clean up. 7. Goomba. Wait, did he just land on my Toady? <gasps> he did! Awesome! So basically, what happens is Toady will take his orb that he just got and gives it to me. So I get a Goomba Orb. Awesome. I should have read that text, but... Meh. <laughs> Poor Luigi. Moira's mad at Luigi for winning the things so he's gonna take it out on him. Four. Okay, so Moira is currently happening. That's the second one. Luigi's got one. I haven't gotten any, and neither has Koopa Kid. But I'm not really going for happening right now. To be honest. Get a three. Damn. <laughs> Aww. You know what that means? I can't put my Goomba where I wanted to put it, which was gonna be right there. So that's kind of lame. So let's put the Thwomp Orb instead. 
So put that there. Nice curve, Toadette. Nice curve. Six, that's not quite enough to get there. Uh, I want to buy, I'm going to buy the Thwomp Orb. And hope that I can win the minigame. I know I'm not playing too smart with my coins, but I like having a lot of orbs and I kind of can't out myself sometimes. So, we're getting at least two stars, which is good. Maybe three if we win this. Number two versus two minigame. Wait, please be catchable. Dang it. We're playing Bodybuilder instead. Which we have also played. Go. Could the kid be smart and hit the thing? That is not what I call being smart. You can't screw this up. Oh, we're gonna lose this. Oh no, he screwed up. Oh, nice recovery, Koopa Kid! We got lucky that Luigi screwed up, though. Nice job. Nice job. So now the game's half over. And I'll admit, I like this. Three. I feel like after the game has one star, they're programmed to go that way. Nice 10, Warrail. Nice 10. Look, they finally bought something at the Orb Hut. Warrail bought himself a Zap Orb, which is weird because you'd think they'd be called Amps. Meanwhile, Luigi on his Gold Shroom Land, which he's not going to use. Get a 2! Damn it. We're just going to go that way, which they always do for some reason. And we're going to Thwomp. Too bad we can't thwomp on the space I would like to. Actually, no, we're gonna Goomba instead. Uh, I can see this getting more use, actually, like right after the star. Because it's the orb that Koopa Kid gave me. I'm gonna treat it with love. Anyway, we're gonna get three stars, which is gonna give us ten! Look at that. We already have 10 stars. Look at that. Best of luck to all of you. Yeah, we'll go that way. We'll pay the price, I guess. Not too thrilled about having to do it, but what do you know? Winning this mini, we're gonna be 10 stars and 10 coins. Let's do it. Pop star. Ooh, we've played this. And I'm the one, so I gotta mash the crap out of A, which is always something I will do. Could get on the floor, but I don't really feel like it. Don't really need to anyway. The reason why it's so much easier if I do it on the floor is because I don't have a much more flat surface besides my leg to hold my controller on, so it makes it a lot easier than it would be normally. Anyway, we got 10 stars and 10 coins, which I am very happy about. One more turn of night, and then we get into day. Well, I am now the only one to have not hit a happening space. No worries. Don't need no happening star to win this. So when you have an eight star lead over second place, you can kind of take it a little more chill. Nobody got to the slot machine in nighttime yet. That's kind of funny. Luigi is still not using his gold mushroom for some reason, and here we have the last main event of his board. This is Star Shuffle. You basically give up one of your stars and you can turn it into three at night with six hats to choose from or two in day with only three. In daytime, this is really easy to win, but I've never won this at night once in my life. It's really hard at night because it goes that fast. 
See, Luigi just lost, and he lost his only star. He almost got it right, though, but not quite enough. In daytime, it's like mad easy to win, but I don't even bother with it at night. In fact, I don't bother with any of the events here at night. <laughs> Tooth wombs right next to each other on top of the thing. Well, had to put that off. We're just gonna go back this way. And there we go. Not too exciting of a turn, but what else are you gonna do? You know, I kind of would have appreciated a battle game there, to be honest. Ooh, we got Daff Raps. I think I lost this last time. Well, let's see if I can win this, because it is... Is it harder at night? I don't think it matters, actually. I love when day it's a rainbow, and at night it's like bleak. Bye, Koopa Kid! Bye, Luigi! Step! Oh no, I jumped too short. I'm not very good at this variation, honestly. Wario got it. Winning quite a few mini games though. I definitely have mini game star because of that battle, but Wario's not too far off. I think Wario got second in the battle as well, so he's just putting a good, solid showing for a mini game star. He's not gonna get it unless like a mega powerful battle happens and he wins it, or he just happens to win like every mini game going forward. But Wario's doing good. Except last time when he freaking got... Like, I legit was one coin ahead of Wario. Well, I was like two stars behind him. But I only had one coin more than him in the recording that I chose not to... Uh-oh. Uh He's going big. Oh my god. Wario just won this. Wario's out for blood, y'all. See, look at me just complimenting Wario non-stop. Look at this guy. He's... If it wasn't for my star lead, I'd be really nervous for him. Thankfully, there isn't too much dangerous in the daytime. But I think I needed two specific bonus stars to beat him. And I got those two bonus stars, and I barely... I legit only had 11 coins more than Wario in the overall standings. So... <laughs> it was so rough. And there was a lot of rage, that Swamp Fest thing that Koopa Kid landed on earlier was landing on a lot, and it was bad. If we don't see it at night, I'll tell you what it does. Anyway, we got What Goes Up, and we have actually not seen the daytime version of this. This is basically the exact opposite, because it's a phrase, What Goes Up Must Go Down. Jump on Koopa Troopas, and whoever gets the highest wins, you're just gonna watch Koopa Troopas and try and jump carefully. I like how this minigame is pretty much completely different in day than it is at night. You don't see that pretty much at all outside of this, and it's actually pretty clever. Um, I do think the nighttime variation is way easier to win, but, you know, what goes up must come down. It's rather simple, like I just missed my jump. Usually I can just manage to jump non-stop, and I rarely miss, but... You know, I did, I did miss that one time, and I missed there as well. You can end up falling quite a lot. Koopa Kid, 160! The cogs are also pretty good at this too, so keep that in mind if you're trying to jump your way to a disputing victory. <laughs> Warrior has 69 coins. This part went by really quick. We only have two turns till the end of the part. So this part might be less than 20 minutes. So this could be rolling a 10. Oh no, Wario's amp. <laughs> He's gonna lose all of his money. He won't even be able to attempt the slot machine. Whoops. Can't play. Meanwhile, in Wario Land, Mushroom. Damn it. I really wanted Wario to land on my thing. 
Okay, war is definitely happening, Star. That's his third one. So I'm not even gonna bother going for that. Because that's definitely Wario. Like, 100%, that's definitely Wario. Still not using it. Well, look what you got. Thwomp. And you're gonna get thwomped again. That chance time you just passed is the only chance I'm on the entire board. And I rarely see anyone land on it. So that's a chance time I generally don't worry about very much. Meanwhile, I have two spaces right next to each other. Which is rather fun, and I just rolled my second two in a row. Very thrilling game. It's very, I see like we're gonna get a battle game right here. Nope. Come on, Money Bell. Nice! We have not actually seen Money Bell. Open boxes to find coins. Watch the boxes as they get x rayed to see what's inside. Keep any coins you find. Don't open boxes containing bottles or punch traps. If you do, you'll be temporarily stunned. This is a fun minigame. You just gotta watch carefully and you should be fine. <laughs> Wario missed the bag. Your line will also be different than everyone else's, so just make sure you pay attention to your line, which in my case is the yellow one, and just get all the coins you can. Goes one at a time. Like, you only get two coin bags, I still have not gotten mine yet, but we'll get it. Nineteen, which is the max you can get. Luigi did pretty good. Warrior only got five. Poor soul. Luigi, on the other hand, has a lot of money, but nothing to do with... I just realized I might have really helped out Luigi here. I might have given him five stars. Meanwhile, Koopa Kid's gonna be on shrooms. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. It's like that one Lonely Island song where it's like, I'm on shrooms! So he will a six of two dice blocks. That space is really popular, apparently. Wario has a mushroom. Let's see if he can do better. I'm sure he will. Maybe. Two? Aw, oh, okay, there's a nine. He kind of saved it with that eleven, but not quite. He's paying fifteen coins for a gold mushroom. Or super shroom. You want me to call it by its official standards? It's a super shroom. But I don't really care too much. Watch Luigi use it now. Aw, he's smart. But he's been holding on to that for so long. What if he just never uses it? It's weird. Okay, Luigi, you better, ho you better hope that... Wow, I'm moving slow. Two, two, and one. Very low numbers, apparently. Oof. And we're going to be playing Conveyor Bolt with Koopa Kid as the one. Have we played this one? Check my notes real quick. We have not played this one. Okay, well, let's go over the instructions. Because, yeah. One player rides on a cloud chariot. Chariot? I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's ch chariot. Dropping thunderbolts. The other three players have to avoid them to survive. Watch out, drop thunderbolts will stick in the ground and remain as obstacles. And there's also spikes you have to avoid. At night, it will be the three player trying to zap the one. There's no spikes and the conveyor belt doesn't, conveyor belt doesn't move. So it's way easier for the three at night than it is a day and vice versa for the one. Also, those are rather interesting looking lightning bolts. I feel like they have a... Kind of a big Luigi. We do like ran right into that. This is not gonna be smart, but I ran over there anyway. Come on. Oh my god, he moves faster than me. Wow, we did it! Yay me! You know, I can't help but feel like in a case like this, I should be the only one to get the coins. But then again, it doesn't really make it feel like a one versus three now, doesn't it? I don't think so. 